greetings to all my name is abhay daithankar i am working as a primary teacher in santakaram national model school i am teaching mathematics well under the guidance of our honorable principal mr b a mahender ji i am going to discuss about uh, programming languages that can be used for the primary students well before going to the programming languages let us first of all discuss what is being by a computer a computer is nothing but a machine it cannot work itself it cannot operate itself it requires the instructions to be given by the human these instructions which are given by the human one after another to the computer is known as a computer programming nowadays it's known as a computer coding well computer be, will be able to do a repetitive work which will be a cumbersome work for a human for a number of time in a fraction of second when these instructions are given well does the computer knows the language use can you say can you start your computer just by saying start no well it requires a particular language but before going to the languages let us see what is programming or coding means the programming or coding is nothing but a set of instructions which are given in a particular sequence in a particular manner let us take an example of a teacher who wants her book a textbook uh, to be brought by one of her student well she asked to her student can you please bring my book from the staff room the student is new and she replies that ma'am i don't know where the staff room is okay ma'am says that well in that case i will guide you to go to the staff room she says that go downstairs then take a left turn leave the five classrooms and you will find the staff room over there now she gives the instructions step by step go to the downstairs take the left turn leave the fly uh, five classrooms and the staff room will be there that the students ask what if the staff room is locked what i will do how i will bring the book in that case the teacher replies you just call the ramu chacha he will come and open the staff room so in this way the teacher gives the detail instruction to student how to bring the book to her so this is what is mean by giving instructions this is mean by programming computer works in the same manner but nowadays we are speaking about the digital computer digital computer its the name is derived because it knows only two digits 0 and 1 it knows a binary language giving the instructions to a computer in a binary language it's a time consuming job and a cumbersome i have given one example of one only one instruction start start in binary language it becomes a 40 digits number it's only having 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on so giving instruction in such a way it's a time consuming and cumbersome job that's why some of the languages has been developed which will work as a medium to give the instruction to the computer the languages which are well familiar to the humans which are very near to the day to day languages and these language the instructions given in these languages can be the further converted into the binary language by uh, another software which is known as a compiler nowadays we are mostly using few of the languages which are c++ java html and python but can these be languages be used for coding to teach coding for the elementary school students primary students the answer is no because these languages they know it should have some knowledge of at least higher school mathematics and they should know what is mean by syntax 
what is mean by algorithm how the logic is developed yes now here comes the point for development of a logic in elementary or primary school primary school students we should start with the languages such as scratch blockly code.org or codemonkey what these languages are well these languages are nothing but the block languages these known as a block languages in this languages all the codes or all the instructions are written on the blocks students have to drag these blocks from the block plan and arrange them in a particular sequence if the student is not giving the instructions in a particular sequence these block will not attach together with each other and will not form a syntax or a command or a order of a command so it is easy they can easily trace out where they are making the error and with this using their creativity they can create different animations different games using scratch using code.org so what will be the what how these languages help them naturally as these they cannot uh, grasp the how what is mean by syntax in all these higher languages ha huh, they can know about the different blocks how they can drag how they can put in the instruction panel how to attach them so it's like a uh, solving a jigsaw puzzle it's a fun game so while making the game or while making the fun they can learn about these different languages definitely with these languages they can develop their logic how to make algorithm how to give the sequence how to keep the order of uh, these uh, uh, all the instructions they can know about these programming by through these programming languages naturally this coding will help them to improve their mathematical skills it will improve their creativity they can create a lot of uh, games and lot of uh, animations lot of apps they can create and naturally with these uh, languages these will help them as introductory languages for other languages higher languages such as c++ c java so they can naturally easily code in the higher languages with the help of these languages so we should go for these languages one of the project uh, which uh, is built by using scratch desktop for that i am going to load the project from this computer itself i selected file drop down menu and open and then open so this is going to open my project uh, you will be able to see i have in my project two characters are uh, characters are there sprites are there one is dog another is cat uh, let us run this project by clicking green button My name is Super Cat. I am coming to help you. Thank you, Super Cat. So, how to make this projects? Such a projects. Uh, let us start uh, with. First of all, so I am going to uh, refresh. I am taking a new fresh project. Uh, our first sprite is not a cat, so I am going to delete it. uh from the sprite menu i am going to select uh sprite so choose a sprite uh from sprite in the sprite menu we are having different sprites such as different persons fruits uh then different insects be beetle bug butterfly different dishes different uh, uh utensils utilities different animals we are having we are having different cars Uh, dragons dinosaurs music instruments are there so we can choose from the different sprites 
naturally we are requiring first of all dough animal so we are taking dough now I want that this dough should move from this corner of work area to the center of this work area naturally for that I want the motion button and I am saying that move from this to this for this I have one command which is known as a glide so here I have from motion button I have a glide command in this we are having glide at a random position and glide at some specific position if I hit the glide button the glide uh, glide block so you can see that the dove is moving from one place to another place but I want that the dove should move from this corner and should be uh, at the center of the work area so first of all I am going to locate this position of dove for that I am having one command that is go to go to at this particular uh, particular position now you can see that in this go to block I am having X and Y what is this X and Y you might be a seen in the mathematics that X and Y are the X and Y coordinates means the position of the dove you can see that if I move this dove from one place to another place this X and Y they are changing so at the center you will be able to see that this x and y they are near to 0 0 and uh, well it is a, having different values at different places so first of all the dove is at this place when I move this dove at this place uh, this place of dove uh, by default it comes in this go to block so I am taking that go to block now I want that this dove should move from this place to the center of the work area nearly so I will take the glide button now glide block and glide block so that it will move from the corner to the center now if I click this block now you will be able to see that dove is moving from corner to center of this work area but it's moving very fast so I will change the time in which it will move instead of one second I am going to take this time as a five second so that will look natural that it will moving in five seconds set the glide timing <coughs> to five seconds so now it will take five seconds to move from the corner of work area to center of work area see it moves very slowly now we will go for the movement of wings the wings should wave in the air so that it looks like it's flying in air so for that we already know that every uh, sprite has cos costumes costumes basically have nothing but the postures of uh, the particular sprite actually you can do one thing you can add the costumes for example over here I have make a duplicate of dough which appears to be dough B2 and now I, I want to change the color of dough I can change it I can make some changes in it for example I selected this area and I change the color of this particular area so uh, it's on your creation and creativity that depends on you but for the instance uh, these two uh, dev A and dev B are sufficient for making it uh, the appearance to be flying one so this should be appear simultaneously for that I am taking uh, these costume simultaneously one after another so I'm uh, going back to the code and from code uh, from looks how it appears I am taking switch the costume to costume B first of all I will set the costume to costume A now if I take the same switch costume to costume B the B so it will now change its position from A to B 
this happens in such very fast the computer executes these commands very fast that will not even find out that there is a uh, motion of in wings so we will introduce a small pause in between them so for that we go in the control command in which there is a wait this wait command will wait to execute the next command uh, for a, for instance this will the next command will be wait for the uh, execution for this given instance initially the value was 1 second i am changing this to the 25 second so this next command will be executed after 25 second so okay so we will execute this see so now it's uh, the wings are waving in the air but this actually waving should happen again and again uh, for a given number of time so for that i am taking a repeat repeat all these motions blocks so i am having a repeat block over here i am putting all these motions all these commands in the repeat block so these commands will be repeated for 10 times now i am going to change this repeat from 10 to 20 and try to execute it now you will see that this dev it appears to be flying in the air okay so this is it for a uh, movement of dough from corner to the center of work area and the baby so now i'm trying to put these blocks together so whether to see that uh, both the commands will execute you prop execute properly see what's happening is the dough moving from the corner to the center of work area and then waving the bits but we want that the should come to the center of work area while moving its wing so that both commands should execute simultaneously and second thing when to start this command so for starting the command we are needing some event so we are going to choose the events from event block uh, event block in the event block first block is we are having when i click the green flag you will start the program okay fine so when the green block is uh, when the green flag is uh, clicked the all the programs will start it but the movement of the dough from the corner to the center and the webbing of the wings should happen simultaneously so one thing i will do is that i will use one more command which is known as a broadcast message well you have heard about the walkie talkie on walkie talkie when one person speaks it says over and then another person speaks so it's one way communication only means one person speaks and said i am over now you speak the other will speak she says i am over in the same way your broadcast command will operate and even the broadcast command will give the message it will broadcast a message so that the other commands will execute after this message and this will we will find in the events block itself in the event block we are having one more event that when i receive message one i will execute all these commands which are given below so now we will see that what happens so when i hit the green flag now dev will move from the corner to the center at the same time the wings are moving simultaneously and it will uh, stand over there and glides it glide its wings so this will done uh, for 20 times so we have done with this sprite now we have to work with it this backdrop we want that all we know that all the uh, birds flies in the sky so we will from the back, backdrop menu we will select a blue sky from as a backdrop now one thing should be there that when the backdrop should appear now while in the script while in this particular uh, animation we are now na naturally going to change the backgrounds backgrounds so we are giving the same thing that this backdrop the present backdrop backdrop sky blue sky too should appear when the green flag is waved or i will say that when i got the message one so i will take when i got the message one at the same time from the looks we will get 
the switch backdrops in backdrops i will select switch backdrop to sky blue blue sky 2 so these all the three uh, commands will be executed simultaneously the backdrop to moving of dub from corner to center and waving of its wings so let us try this when i hit the green flag the back backdrop changes the dub is coming from the corner and it's flying at the center now it's time for robot to come in now robot should come in so we are going to choose another sprite we will search from this as a menu as a robot and we are having two robots one is one which flying in the air i am taking this robot as my second sprite and i will choose that this robot it's very cruel it's dangerous and it's killing animals so it should appear at the corner as the dove appeared first of all and then move from corner to near to the dove so first position i will suggest is in motion so in motion i will give the command that go to this particular place so go to i have to check okay fine so i got the position i started with the position of the robot but now it should glide to near to dove so i am giving the gliding position also so okay it comes near to dove uh, one thing we will do we will change the costume we will change the posture it's uh, it will be a better thing that we will change the costume so initially it was here and then <coughs> it glides near to dove fine to kill him so this will be the position of your robot this can be given by glide again glide to glide to at which position x and y defined i am going to give this okay now we will execute this your robot moves from this to near to dove but it's moving very fast so i am changing the timing to four four seconds and now we will try to execute this now see the robot moves very slowly near to the dove and he says that i want to kill you uh, about the sounds of these uh, characteristics we will see about uh, when we have done with the motions first of all so robot comes near the dove now we don't have any point of execution for this from where it should begin we want that the robot should come in action when the dove uh, goes to the center of the work area so i am again switching to the dove and at when the dove completes the its gliding motion uh, it comes to the center i will uh, broadcast a message so for broadcasting the message i am going in the event and taking a broadcast message in this message i will take a new message in which i will put that dow that dow motion is over dow one okay so now your robot will enter when the dow has done its work okay so now robot will execute its gliding from corner to the center near dow when the dow got to its original position so we will again switching to the robot and now in this case the robot will move when it receives a message of the one so for that when we in the events list we are having when i receive a message already message is there the one fine so when the dev one is received your robot will move from its position okay but before that the robot should appear rather before that it should not be visible now robot should appear for that we are having a command in looks which is saying that show so show commands will show the robot at this position and it will execute its command okay let's see what happened 
the dove is flying in and the robot is flying in but the robot is there from the beginning so what to do in that case we are having one more command below show is hide so when the robot is done it will hide okay execute this first of all we will execute hide command so here the robot is gone now and now executing now dove comes in and now the robot comes in slowly robot says that i am going to kill the dove i am going to kill you uh, now in this case dove says help help now we are having our super cat over there which was walking on the street and he is going to come for help of the so to show that now we are going to switch to take a new characteristic in this particular script uh, so we are going to choose the sprite of cat uh, we are having actually when we select the cat for that we are having costumes as this and this well these costumes will help to show the walking on the road but when we are gone in the choose sprite option we are able to see that the one cat is there which is flying also this flying cat is having two costumes again which are in the flying position first take taking off and then flying so all these they are helpful us for further script although we are able to see them here but initially they should be hidden so for them we will give them their movement differently so first of all we will go for the cat one and go in the course in quote course uh, the event as starts from the green flag is clicked first of all we will see about this cat but uh, when the uh, these two characteristics the characters the and robot has done your uh, second backdrop should appear on which there should be a road a cat is moving on a road so for that first of all this cat should not be visible because if i start with this now you can see that dove is flying in at the same time robot is present and again robot is coming in and your cat is still over there so at the beginning the cat should not be there so i am saying that disappear so i am hiding the cat and i am saying that you will appear afterwards so uh, we will going back to your robot okay in general the robot should be hidden when the green flag is clicked so first of all when the green flag is clicked the robot will disappear fine and it will appear when he receives the dove one message and he will start gliding in okay so this robot gliding is over now i should broadcast one message that robot one so broadcasting the message one broadcast new message i am saying robo one that robo has done now now it's time for cat to appear fine okay so broadcasting has done now we will going for the cat cat actually initially will be disappeared now when he got the robot is done so he should appear so for that i am taking an event when i receive a message of robo 1 i should appear appear will be there in the looks menu so here it shows now at the same time simultaneously your backdrop should also change okay so backdrop i am taking the backdrop as change backdrop so change backdrop is available in the same you know 
switch backdrop to now i am taking the backdrop which is there as a blue sky of a road fine so i have taken the backdrop of blue this is a blue sky one no name is there now the cat will show now we will talk about the walking of cat now in this case your robot and dove should not be in this position they should disappear because they are high above in the sky so for them now i am giving the event for individually for the robot that when the robot broadcast one is there message so from the events i am taking when i received a message that robo one i should hide the robot should hide so i am going to hide the robot now fine now after this for dev also dev should disappear when he receives a message of robo one it should hide so i am taking from looks menu hide and let us try to run it from first beginning see dev comes in then the robot comes in he threatens the dev now we see that the cat uh, comes and the background also change backdrop also change now the cat will start walking on the street fine so for cat walking on the street how to be there so for that again i am switching to the cat and i am going to give the commands for walking how to make the cat to walk we are having two different costumes for cat so we will uh, make that these costumes will appear one after another so switch costume of to cat a and b we are having cat a and switch costume to cat b so if i click this actually your computer execute this commands very rapidly so for that we are going to make a pause in between the two movements so i am going to put a pause of uh, there is a 1 second by default of 25.25 seconds i am making and let's try to execute this see now you are seeing that it's like walking okay this is walking but it's not moving on the ground on the road so to make it move from the motion command we are having move 10 steps move 10 steps so first of all i will make it to move 10 step then switch the costume then wait for 25 uh, one fourth of second then switch the costume and then move for a 10 steps let's execute this what happens see so it's looking like a walking it's looking like a walking uh, i will move this move uh, drop move move block because we are going to put this complete in a loop so from the controls we are having repeat this for 10 times okay so we if we move repeat this movement of cat for 10 times it appears that the cat is walking but the movement of legs are uh, appear to be very fast so i am changing this for the wait waiting time to the 0.5 minutes now okay fine okay now you can see that the cat is walking on the road now cat is walking on the road but what happens if i start the entire program again cat shows it start walking see i hit the green flag and 
then find that the dove is disappeared and the cat is so something is missing and the cat initially was uh, at this position and then it moves what will happen if I execute once again see so cat is not getting at its initial position so first of all we are going to fix the position of cat so for fixing the position of cat I am saying that you are going to show but at this particular position so to go to fix position of this and then you will start moving and then you will start moving okay so now I execute entire block so you will see that the cat is moving again once again execute okay so cat is again moving from initial position so we got this thing done okay so I executed the program from the beginning and we find that the, the dough is not there at all where the dough has gone in the previous this session when we run this entire program our last command was to hide and for last command to hide for the dove and that command keeps the dove hiding so we have to make the dove to reappear when we hit the green flag so for that we have to go in show and then we'll execute from the beginning now you'll see that the dove is coming in the robot is coming in cat is walking on the street but initially the cat, cat is visible so the cat should be invisible and should be visible when we got the robot has done so initially the cat should be hidden okay so when the cat should be hidden it should be hidden initially when the green button is click or we have given at the sprite of a dove when broadcast we have done message which is a message one at the same time when it got the message one the cat should be hidden so for that we are taking to the cat we are given that this is a green flag when it should be hide but it should not hide when the green flag is click we should be hide when he got the message one when I receive message one I should hide okay now let's try to execute this okay now the dove is coming in now the robot is coming in to threaten the dove now the cat is walking on the now he heard about the dove and now the cat will uh, move towards the dove uh, for saving him from the robot so for that uh, we required this cat should fly in the air but for that this cat we should go for a next sprite so we will select the next sprite uh, that is a flying cat from the animals we are having flying cat over there this flying cat we will choose and if I go for the costumes the costume B of a cat was appear to be the takeoff and then it should switch to the costume A so this should be the initial position of your sprite and then it should fly in the sky so we will go for coding and we will begin with the motion 
it should appear at this position and so go to fixed position you should now glide from this position to this corner in the blue sky until then unless you are visible so this we are having the glide gliding let us try to do this okay very fast very good and such a speed we are needing for the super cat now from when should this the command should be executed of gliding and for that this cat should not be there the cat original which was walking on the street should not be there it should disappear so we will go back to this cat and say hide now okay hide hide we will find in the looks and here is hide okay so when this cat is over he should execute a command that mine is over now your turn flying cat so we should send a message broadcast a message say broadcast what message we are going to broadcast a new message in which new message i will say new message it i will say a cat one so cat one is there so when the cat one message is broadcasted now this cat two should appear so should appear for that i am going to choose when i receive cat one message this flying cat the take off position will appear so i will say show and then go to this particular place uh, i will give a pause of very little time of say because or it is stopped so only of 0.1 second and then the gliding and let us try to execute from the beginning the dog comes in the cat comes in, the robot comes in the cat is walking on the street he hears the dog and then take off but what we have seen is that this cat is remaining at this position from the beginning this should not happen this should show only when he receives the cat message unless and until he will be hired he will be hired when from the beginning itself hiding will be from the beginning itself so for that when i receive a message message 1 this is of hiding to the others i will not be visible i will hide fine and now execute this now this flying cat is hidden from the corner first of all the dog come and then the robot come the cat was walking on the street he listened to the dog then he take off the air now this we have done for cat of flying cat at this point we have done now the flying cat should uh, broadcast a message that i have done now the backdrop should change and the dog and your robot should come in front of all in the picture so again i am going to broadcast a message from the control sorry from the event i am going to broadcast one more message this is a flying cat so i will say this is a message of new message say cat 2 at this message okay at this message my dog will appear my robot will appear and my backdrop also changes so i am going to dog and when i see when the flying cat is done in this particular background when i receive a cat to message what should be done the background should switch 
background switch switch so switch background from the looks is there switch background to blue sky to the blue sky uh, at the same time your dove should appear so for that i am taking show dove uh, and at the same time your robot should appear so uh, for the robot also i am taking when i receive from controls from events when i receive cat message to i will also be visible so from looks again it will be show show next thing in this case one more thing happens is that what about the flying cat when the flying cat the goes at this corner now we will run again this program so dev comes in the robot comes in he teases the dev cat was walking on the street he listens to the dev help help he then flies in the sky up till yet we have done uh, at this position we have said that when this cat to message is received actually your flying cat should disappear so flying cat should disappear with cat to message cat to message and disappear now for this flying cat he will appear in the next position means at next corner where he should appear he should appear as he got the cat to message for that we are taking from the controls events when i receive cat to message i will appear over here fine so this will be the position now it's a flying one flying cat St since we have not ended the program the cat was not leaving its position okay now we have ended the program with clicking the red button stop and now we are able to see this cat over here now cat will guide to the robot and will give him a slap so cat appears over here say a little bit over here so when i receive cat to message i will again appear so show show at what position show at the current position so for show at current position i will take go to and i will take the current position of the cat now the cat will glide from here to here and give a slap to robot so i will say glide to this position uh in between this go to and glide to i will introduce a small pause uh of say 125 seconds and then this ro uh, cat will glide to the robot uh, even even also i am changing the costume of cat this costume we are saying of taking off but now it's moving in the sky so i am taking this costume over here so in the code first of all when the cat to receives this show but before that i will switch the costume switch costume switch costume to cat, cat flying b is this a b this is a so execute this this is a so so cat will fly from this position and will give a slap to robot let us see
will assign this position to cat now go to we will take from this position motion go to switch the costume show wait for a second wait for some few part of a second then glide and then hit to the robot execute fine so this is up till this it is done properly so we found that this this sound hitting hitting of big bing bong or but this will be a little so this sound suits best for the hitting so that sound we are going to put it's a bing bong and we'll see whether that sound plays So this is a hitting and sound and after that we will play a sound uh, which will be of computer beep or rather than computer beep we will take one more sound so in sounds sound selection in effects So a little bit damage to the computer of your robot. Uh, some damage to the robot. So we can play this sound. So this is a computer B2. So in course I am going to select the computer B2 until done. Now next thing is to change the posture. But before that, it will be a little wait of half minute and then we will change the costume. It looks, we will switch the costume, switch costume to the running costume. So we will go in the costumes of robot, the co robot which is facing behind and running away what we will do is to we will take the mirror image of it so for that we will select this from selection tool i am selecting this entire image and i am taking a vertical flip so that it will be running like this Okay, this will be the proper posture and we will take this robot B. The robot is running away. Now, coding. So, switch to costume D and now it will glide away. So, for gliding away, we will go in the motion and glide at certain random position. We can take at any random position but well best way to take that it glides away and run away from the all the things so run away from all the things this is a glide position and then we will disappear right finish so okay we will run once again all the program Dove comes in, robot comes in, threaten the dog, cat was moving on the ground, he listens to the dove, help help, he flies in the sky, hit the robot, damage to the robot, robot fly away, and our dove says thank you. So we will go to the dove and we will put a thank you. So it is there in my box yes say thank you say thank you is there for thank you so this completes our entire things and now 
after the dove says thank you we will end all the programs so for end the, all the programs we are having a control in control uh, we are having stop all so at that condition we will stop all till that the dove was since flying in the sky we will keep him flying okay we will run the program from beginning dove comes in robot comes in cat was walking on the ground he help he hear the help sound of the dove <coughs> and do this thank you and this completes our all the story so like many of the stories you can create with your creativity i will give you next example of some of the stories prepared by me